Hey everybody, everybody remember the pink PS1? Well this is from the Golden Axe, the pink Nintendo 64 and check it out. This is nice. Okay. He didn't, he got the uh, underside with, it's probably not showing up in the video. There's uh, a coat of dark with sparkly in it. See, you can probably see it there with the light shining off of it. There's a sparkly coat. Looks really good. There's sparkles all through it. Not so much in the pink, but more in the dark. This is <laughs> black, right? Got the underside real good. Redid the feet in black. This is just crazy for pink. <laughs> and, okay, he didn't bother with that, but look, you can see some pink in there. And that's good. I like that. And you can also see some, some of the sparkly black on the ports. This looks really cool. Golden Axe did a great job on this. Another fabulous job. And it's hard to, to uh, this is not spray paint. This is plastic dye, right? Keep in mind, you act like spray paint, but it, the outcome is different. Because it actually bonds. Yeah, it didn't have a jumper pipe. That's okay. And this is cool. Everybody knows why I like pink. If not, PM me or leave a comment down there. Okay. Okay. Spraying anything on a dark surface leaves little. I mean, you got to really do it. It's harder to do it and without primer. I didn't need a primer. That's that's fine. See, you get shows through a little bit, but you know what? I don't care because no one else has one like this. This is a totally custom job, and it's really really cool. It's awesome. This thing is. Fits awesome. Fits awesome. And everything has great. It's in brand new condition, you could say. Because nothing hangs. Like sometimes you hear grinding right there. Not there. And this button kind of, sometimes on older consoles, on this one, on 64, it can like get hung as it comes up or gets hung as it goes down and it won't, you know, the travel of the button ain't so great. But this one is good. And he took the, see that? That's just neat. <laughs> excellent, excellent job. I'm loving me some paint. This is now my Nintendo 64. And you got the, the same sticker on it. He got down in the vents. You can see right there in the vent. That's really excellent job. Excellent, excellent job. Hooray for overstock and misordering for pink stuff. <laughs> Okay, well, I had to show this off. This is the newest. I would have done an unboxing video, but there was some other stuff in the box that needed to go to someplace else, and it's not part of, like, an, an unboxing video because it's, it wasn't really all mine. So I went ahead and skipped the unboxing video, and, well, here it is. Golden Axe, excellent, great job. And one of these days I'm going to get some controllers done because I could do stuff like this myself, but you know what? When someone else does it, it's kind of like a little piece of history, you know? A little bit of history. What's the history behind this system, this console, this whole rig? Well, it's not, it's nice to say the whole rig was done by this person, Golden Axe. Not, oh, well, I did the controllers here, da -da 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 -da, just yeah, whatever, right? But this is cool. And I might get him to do some controllers for this one and the PlayStation. So, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching. A little bit longer than I expected it to be, but that's okay. Y'all take it easy. Bye-bye.